Coming up on today's episode of AMA John Report. Intel shooting star Mini Johns make the holiday season even brighter. AMA reminder of FAA registration renewal. And more than 50,000 Lance applications processed. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. Welcome to Airborne's AMA Drone Report on Aero TV, a weekly news program covering the recreational drone world in partnership with the Academy of Model Aeronautics, one of the oldest and most respected aviation organizations in the world, with more than 200,000 members and 2,400 clubs across the country. This holiday season, Intel shooting star mini drones are helping to delight audiences in the Christmas Spectacular starring the Radio City Rockettes. During this year's new final scene, up to 100 Intel mini drones will create a groundbreaking magical holiday drone light show over the great stage of Radio City, using choreographed movements to create holiday-themed silhouettes. This large-scale integrated drone performance will mark the first of its kind for theater and for Intel. The Christmas Spectacular starring the Radio City Rockettes is running now through January 1st. Weighing in at less than 2.4 ounces, the Intel Shooting Star Mini Drones is constructed with a soft frame made of flexible plastic. A 180-degree cage covers the four propellers. The Intel Mini Drone fits in the palm of a typical hand. All features designed to promote safety when flying near people. In the next drone minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the small UAS and hobby drone communities. Mark your calendars, this year's AMA Expo East is set for February 22nd through 24th, 2019 at the Meadowlands Exposition Center in Secaucus, New Jersey. AMA's three-day expo provides a world-class display of the latest and greatest products for the modeling enthusiast and fun activities the whole family can enjoy, including flying demonstrations, model rocket and plane build and fly stations, as well as interactive displays, static model competitions, and guest speakers. Some 100 plus exhibitors and expert modelers will be on hand. More drones to the rescue. A University of Maryland Medical Center doctor working with the school's Department of Aerospace Engineering has successfully transported a kidney by drone in an experiment that could lead to faster delivery of organs for transplant. The results were published November 6th in the IEEE Journal of Translational Engineering in Health and Medicine. For the experiment, the kidney was transported by a DJIM 600 Pro drone in a container chilled to 2.5 degrees centigrade. These stories are only going to get more and more common. This time, the incident occurred in Travis County, Texas. Troy Lamb, 71, took some shots with a shotgun at a drone he said was flying over his property. The neighbor who actually owned the drone called the police, saying someone was shooting a gun near his house, and the shotgun pellets were falling on his back porch. Court records indicated that Lamb shot at the drone three times. Not unmanned, but still pretty cool. EAA's Young Eagle program now has an additional resource. Glider Books Academy Online Soaring School is offering free glider courses for all young people who have flown in the Young Eagles program. The Glider Books Academy online courses cover four basic areas of glider and soaring flight. Introduction to soaring, glider familiarization, flight instruments, and aerodynamics. It's a $95 value offered at no charge as a part of the EAA student membership that is available for free to all young eagles following their flights. That was our John Minute, now back to the rest of the news. Our friends at AMA have recently noted that on December 12, 2017, Congress reinstated FAA registration for all unmanned aircraft weighing between 0.55 pounds and 55 pounds. 
Many of us had received our registration number before this December 12th date, and we expected that the time to renew was coming soon. However, due to this ruling in the U.S. Court of Appeals, those who obtained an FAA registration number before the December 12, 2017 date will have their registration expiration date extended to December 12, 2020. The only caveat to this rule is for those individuals who specifically requested that his or her name be taken off the FAA registration database. If you requested to have your name and personal information removed, you no longer have an FAA registration number in the system. If you are uncertain whether or not you have a valid FAA registration, you can access your FAA account at faadronezone.faa.gov. This site will allow you to view your personal FAA registration number and expiration date. The FAA's nationwide deployment of the Low Altitude Authorization and Notification Capability has exceeded all of the program's original objectives. Since the program began with a prototype system in November 2017, LANS has processed more than 50,000 applications, from drone operators for authorization to fly in controlled airspace. The system now covers almost 300 air traffic facilities, serving approximately 500 airports, providing near instantaneous approvals, and allowing operators to quickly plan their flights. LANS helps support the safe integration of drones into the nation's airspace. The system uses airspace data provided through temporary flight restrictions, notices to airmen, and unmanned aircraft system facility maps that show the maximum altitude ceiling around airports where the FAA may authorize operations under Part 107. The Small Drone Rule for Commercial and Public Agency Operators The FAA has approved 14 land service suppliers. Instructions on how to apply are provided by each supplier. Drone operators also may file for airspace authorization using the FAA Drone Zone, including for areas not covered by lands or when the operator holds a Part 107 waiver. Well, that's our program for this week. Airborne's AMA Drone Report is presented weekly in cooperation with the Academy of Model Aeronautics. And in addition to this program are Airborne Unlimited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world are streamed on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. And more information on the exciting hobby drone world at modelaircraft.org. We'll see you next week.